Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, November 13th, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called Collision Courses. Alright, let's get started. Oh, it looks like we have some shaded squares on the grid today. I imagine this is where our collision courses are going to be. Sell as bicycles. And this is wordplay. Hmm. So I guess this isn't about a bike shop. Sell as bicycles. Hmm. I'm not sure where the pun is here. Interesting. Tree of the custard apple family. I wonder if this is the pawpaw tree. Uh, I think you can spell it like that. You can spell it a couple of different ways. One not getting in too deep. Yeah, maybe this is going to be a waiter. They're just wading into the water. Big name in pain relief. Okay, this could be Advil or a leave. I think a leave is a much better option just based on the letters in waiter. So let's put in a leave. We're going to start to get some of our collision cores filled in here. The Blank Holmes Mysteries Young Adult Series. Yeah, that's Enola Holmes, right? That's Sherlock's sister. Gave out. I guess this could be meted out. Sell as bicycles. Hmm. Arctic Jacket. That'll be an anorak. That's another name for a parka. Okay, so this is not meted. Maybe it's doled out. There we go. Oh, it's pedaled. <laughs> That's very funny. That's quite the bicycle pun. Okay, yeah, but it's not spelled like pedaling a bicycle. It's pedaling wares. Okay, claptrap. That'll be drivel. So what do we have in here? R-I-V-E. Rive? Hmm. Crash courses. Interesting. Make some deep cuts in. I think this has to be lacerates. Nice. Barely squeeze by will be eek by. So we have police. Band whose final album, Synchronicity, was their most popular with the. Yeah, that's the police. Okay. So we have Elise and Rive. Crash courses. Hmm. What's going on here? It doesn't seem like they spell anything backwards either. Hmm. I'm very confused here. Well, let's get some more of them filled in. And maybe if we get some more examples of the theme, it'll start to make sense. Game typically played in the dark. That has to be a laser tag. That's a fun bit of fill. Vast quantity. I guess it could be a sea of something. Common concert merch. That has to be a t-shirt. For blank, all nature is too little. Seneca. Hmm. For who? All nature is too little. I have no idea what he's talking about. It might be stuck on the chopping block. Uh, is it going to be a cleaver? Ooh, um, hmm. That doesn't fit, does it? I guess it could fit, but I'm feeling pretty confident about these answers here. Let's try and build up here. Loud as a crowd. I think that'll be a roar. Chinese zodiac animal. That could be a ram. That's one of the animals in the zodiac. Hmm. Man, we're going to need more crossing help here. More in need of practice. I really want this to be rustier. That's great. Hairspray brand since the 1950s? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to know this one. Unlawful occupant. Shouldn't this be a squatter? Oh, it's not a ram. Maybe it'll be a rat instead. Okay, let's put in squatter. Nice, okay. Disembark. So this is about leaving on a trip? Hmm. Swear word. Is it a cuss? I do like that you here. Hairspray brand. 
Oh man, I feel like maybe I've heard of this before. Swear word again. Maybe this could be an oath. Yeah, that's another way to say a swear word. Coups in journalism. That has to be scoops. Garnish for a Gibson cocktail. Is it gonna be an olive? I guess it could be an onion. We wanted onion the other day for a cocktail garnish. Uh, hmm. Yeah, maybe it is because this looks like it should be go ashore. That's so funny. We finally got our cocktail onion. Okay, go ashore. Jurors to a defendant. You're entitled to a trial by a jury of your peers. Nice, okay. Word with food, clothes, or entertainment. Hmm, street food, street clothes, street entertainment. Yeah, that seems right. Aquanet, yeah, that does sound familiar. So we have squat and osh. <laughs> what is going on with these theme answers? Did they continue somehow from one to the next? Elise Osh, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Squash, that's a word. And oat is a word too. Olive, hey, here's our other cocktail garnish. And rice. Olive and rice. Okay. So our theme answers are colliding and kind of careening away from each other. Um, I don't really see what they have in common. They are all foods. Maybe that's why they're collision courses, because they're colliding foods. Yeah, courses as in courses in a meal. Wow, very interesting. Okay. Tiny amount of time abbreviated. I think this has to be a nanosecond. Tesla, but not Edison. Okay, they're not talking about the inventors. Tesla is a car brand, and Edison is not. Like diamonds. Uh, hmm. Are they talking about the shapes, or baseball diamonds, or the minerals? I don't know. Become established. Ooh. This is tricky. Let's see if we can get this one. Keenan's comedy partner. Yeah, that was the old Keenan and Kel show. Okay. Diamonds. Hmm. Oh, they're talking about diamonds on a playing card. Those are red. Man, we were not thinking that. Politico Cheney. Uh, I guess that's Liz Cheney, right? I wonder if we can get this long down. Cry of perfection from a carpenter. And this is wordplay. Hmm, so this has to be kind of punny. It has to be a carpentry pun. What is this going to be? Is it going to be, I sawed it or I planed it? Those don't really make sense. It does seem like it might end in a T. Animal with a prominent proboscis. So that's a prominent nose. I think tape ears have pretty big noses, don't they? Yeah. So this starts with T-A-K. Maybe it's take root? Like a plant would become established? It could be. Hmm. City northwest of Bar Harbor. Isn't that in Maine? Bar Harbor, is that right? Hmm. I wonder if that could be Banger. That's another city in Maine. Okay, I wonder if we can figure out our collision course here. This looks like it could be a banana, and maybe this is a mango. And then what would that make this? M-A-N-A-N-A. -A -A. 24 oros from now. Yeah, that's going to be manana in Spanish. That's pretty good. All right, I think we're getting the hang of this theme here. Quick escapes. Maybe that's lambs. They're on the lamb. What might prompt a run for Congress. And this is wordplay, so I don't think this is going to be about the U.S. Congress. I think this is going to be about a much more intimate type of Congress, yeah. I think this is going to be libido. That would drive you toward a certain kind of Congress, right? That's really funny. 
Big name in pain relief. Okay, well, it's not going to be a leave. Hmm, it's not aspirin. Cry of perfection. I made it? That doesn't really make sense. Hmm, used in unspoken language. Maybe that's signed? Yeah, you're using sign language. Hella. Okay, so this has got to be another slang term for the word very. Maybe it could be totes? Yeah. Wait, shouldn't this be, I nailed it? That would make sense for a carpenter, right? Uh, so this is not totes. Hmm, hella? Seeing someone socially. Shouldn't that be on a date? Yeah. So let's get rid of this here. Hella. Maybe it's lotsa? I don't know about that. Retort to, no, you're not able. I can too, maybe? Yeah. Has for supper. That could be dines on. It was a lotsa. That's so funny. And it shares a key with the exclamation point. Yeah, that's one on your keyboard. So this is Anison? I don't think I've ever heard of this before. Smart blank. Maybe it's smart Alec? No, that's too short. Hmm. Bad look. Would it be a glare? That would make sense. Pronoun for French women. Hmm. Uh, is it L's? I want to say maybe that's right. Land of leprechauns. It could be Ere or it could be Erin. Hmm. I don't know which one to pick. Rise as a steed might. Uh, I think that should be rear up. Yeah, it's going up on its hind legs. So this could be Erin. That's another name for Ireland. Old Yellers. And this is wordplay, so this is not about a dog. Who is an old yeller? Hmm. Is it criers? Like town criers? Seek as a punitive payment. Yeah, this should be Sioux for. Okay. Seat of Utah County. Ooh, I don't know if I know this. This is maybe an R. Maybe that's Provo. That is in Utah. Let's put in criers. That's looking pretty good. Oh, it's smart Alex plural. Oh my god. Alphabet blank. That could be alphabet soup. Yeah. I wonder if we can get this. Is this going to be a revealer? Hmm. Lab engineered fair facetiously or a hint to the six crossings of shaded squares. Okay. Shouldn't that be Franken food? No, that doesn't fit. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it really doesn't fit. It is going to end in food. Contacts via Instagram informally. Shouldn't that be DMs? Direct messages? This is ovum. Thing moving through a tube, maybe. Yeah, that's very ambiguous. Bountiful harvests for farmers. Or another hint to the crossings of shaded squares. Okay, I have an idea for what this should be. I think this should be bumper crops. Yeah, they're kind of bumping into each other like bumper cars. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's try and get some help at the beginning of this other theme answer. Totally to riff. <laughs> Another slang term. Is it fab? Go back for more. Maybe that's re-up. It's really looking like it should be Franken food. Hmm. Knives out actress Anna de Blanc. That's Anna de Armas. Okay. Is this an N? Happy to, an equivalent phrase. Uh, hmm, maybe no prob? Okay, so this is smart Alec with a CK. Hmm, I don't know if I've ever seen it spelled that way. Weird. Okay, it is Frankenfood, that's what we wanted all along. Spot for a tattoo. Uh, what are they talking about? Is this a spot on your body? I don't know. Singer, songwriter, blank, my. I definitely don't know that. They start in the corners. Hmm. It feels like they're talking about something very specific here. 
bygone magazine for rock music enthusiasts. Hmm. Man, that's kind of out of my ken. Achieved a flight training milestone. Uh, is it soloed? Yeah, maybe. You flew without an instructor? Worker who makes a ton of dough. Is this talking about literal, like, bread dough? Or is it someone who makes a lot of money? Hmm. I don't know. Vehicle that might have parachute brakes. Is it going to be some kind of drag racing car? I think it might be. Let's see if it starts with drag. Precisely. It's not to a T. Mops partner in a brand name. Uh, is it Glow? Mop and Glow? Maybe? I'm not sure if I've heard of that before. Honors in the ad biz. Okay, those are Clio's. Yeah, those are the awards you get in advertising. Brand name checked in Paul Simon's Kodachrome. Oh man, I love this song. Uh, he's got a Nikon camera. Yeah, nice, okay. What was this? Precisely. It's not exactly. Hmm. Terse affirmation. Is it just I do? Hiking group. And this is wordplay, so this is not just a group of hikers going up a mountain. Hiking group. Hmm. Is it like a group of people that hike up their clothing? Interesting. I have no idea. It's hot right now. It's not a fad? Hmm. Where you went? This is another very ambiguous one. Man, we're gonna need some help building back into here. Most off the wall. All right, this should be zaniest. Nice, we finally got one. Illegal as a download. Is it pirated? Nice. Ensnared. Is that just in a trap? Yeah. Return payments. More wordplay. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what return payments are normally. I guess it's a payment that you paid that gets returned? I don't know what the pun is going to be. Hmm. Let's get some crossing help here. Totenberg of NPR. I think I've heard of a Nina Totenberg. Come home. I believe that's in Iraq. Yeah. Grub. That's got to be eats. Wait, maybe this is in Iran. Shoot. Return payments. Oh, is it going to be ransoms? Oh my god. It's payments you pay to get something returned. Super, super tricky. Okay. Prefix with biology. Is it astrobiology? The study of life in space? Hiking group. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be an NFL team because they hike the football? Wow. That was a very tricky one. Maybe this is I am instead of I do, and then we can put in fad here, excellent. Where you went, oh, I guess that would be your alma mater, the school that you went to, okay. We really need to be able to get this one at this point. Precisely. Okay, that's going to be smack dab, I'm very relieved that we got that one. Is this cream? Like the band? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Worker who makes a ton of dough. A ton. Hmm, man, we did get an S here. They start in the corners. The corners, what are they talking about? It is plural. Spot for a tattoo. Um. Hmm. Is something wrong here? Oh, this should be no prob. This is a typo. Oh my god. Okay, does that help? Worker who makes a ton of dough. Ah, man. I don't know. I guess this could be L? Spot for a tattoo. Shouldn't this be a parlor? A tattoo parlor? Yeah. 
I spelled her name wrong. It's Ana de Armas with an A. Oh man, that really hurt us. Okay, parlor, and this could be L. What is this? They start in the corners. Oh, they're talking about chess. Oh man, it's gonna be a rook. It'll be rooks, oh my goodness. And this should be a baker, right? So this is cream with two E's, and this is Ella Mai. And it was talking about someone working with bread dough. Holy moly, okay. Let's come back up here and try and work down from the left. For blank, all nature is too little. This has to be greed, doesn't it? Yeah, nothing is enough. Okay. It might be stuck on the chopping block. Oh, that could be the ax head. Yeah, that gets stuck in the chopping block when you're chopping wood. Queen commemorated on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Queen. I don't think this is going to be the queen of the UK. I think this is going to be an American queen. It could be Queen Latifah, right? Nice, okay. Objects from faraway lands. Hmm. It's not imports. It's not exports, right? That wouldn't make sense. What is this first letter here? Calf sight. I guess that's in your leg, yeah. Hmm. Is it exotics? Yeah, I guess it could be, like exotic cars. Not so harsh. Gentler? That looks very nice, yeah. Color wheel options. That should be tones. Trifling informally? Maybe that's itty. It's an itty bitty problem. Blank at 11. A local news promo. Hmm. File at 11? Is that right? I don't know if I've ever heard that before. 1993 R&B hit with the lyric, Keep playing that song all night. I know I've heard this before. Isn't that Hey DJ? Hmm. How would you spell that? Lenovo competitor, that should be Acer. What gorillas have that giraffes lack? And this is wordplay, so I don't know if it's going to be about some kind of anatomical feature. Hmm. It looks like something is wrong here. Did I not spell Latifah's name right? Hmm. Something definitely seems wrong here. I'm not sure what it is. Gorillas and giraffes. Is it about the words themselves? Hmm. Yeah, that's what I really want it to be about. I wonder if we can get some help working up from this section here. Peter Pan alternative. Okay, Peter Pan is a brand of peanut butter. So that could be Jif, right? That's another kind of peanut butter. Is it Hey Mr. DJ? I think it might be actually, so this would be film. Film at 11, that makes more sense. What is this? Oh my god. Is it exotica? Yeah, a kind of unusual plural. And this is a hard G. Gorilla is a hard G sound, and giraffes is a soft G sound. Just like the sound in Chiff, yeah. Okay. Beast with a mouth best left unexamined. Hmm. Uh, is it a real beast? Is it a giant something? I have no idea. Longtime progressive spokeswoman. Her name is Flo, yeah. Target of an annual shot. Is it flu? Yeah. Nice, okay. School for which John Wayne played tackle. I have no idea where John Wayne went to school. Oh, oh my god, you know what this is going to be? It's going to be a gift horse. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> that old saying. That's pretty funny. Okay. It's rarely pure and never simple per Oscar Wilde. I really want this to be the truth. Yeah, that's very true. Tight with. Hmm. What's another word for that? Tight with. So like you're close to someone else? I'm not sure. Unpredictable change. Hmm. These are tough to get with just this one letter. Twosome. 
Is it a duet? Hmm. Or maybe a pair. An I? Mesopotamian metropolis. I guess it could be Mesopotamian. So that would be kind of near Iran? Closer to Iraq, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Got in order. Is it sorted? Those are nice common letters. Ooh, man. Uh, is it a dyad? Ooh, I don't know about that. Email symbols informally. Is it just ats? Is that informal? Some skincare ingredients informally. Again, informally. Hmm. It's not aloes. Relative of a water spout. Hmm. Is it a tornado? Is a water spout kind of a tornado over water? I don't know if I've ever heard that before. It would fit though. And this is really starting to look like it's gonna be tomato, doesn't it? And this could be corn. Hmm. It starts with act. I really think this should be tomato and corn. You could make a good bisque over in this corner. More cocksure. Shouldn't that be smugger? I don't know if I've ever heard that word before. Wedding proposal. And this is wordplay, so this can't be about someone asking you to marry them. Hmm. Wedding proposal. What other kind of wedding could we be talking about here? I'm not sure. Maybe that's in good with? Oh my god, maybe it is a dyad. What in the world is this? I think maybe I just haven't heard of this. Unpredictable change. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, wedding proposal. This is going to be a toast. A toast to the bride and groom. That is really funny. Mesopotamian metropolis. Is that Odessa? I know I've heard of that before. Hmm, unpredictable change. Maybe it is a vagary. I think that is an unpredictable change. This is dyad. Activos, oof, I never would have guessed that. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Like a very heavy sleeper, that's gonna be comatose. Uh, this doesn't really help. I guess it could be USC, one of the two USCs. Bit of hairstyling. Is that a coif? Yeah, that's hair that's been styled. EO though? So-called father of geometry. It's not Euler. Hmm. The Mary Tyler Moore Show spin-off. <laughs> I know I've seen this before. Um. Hmm. Did it have Ed Asner in it? I want to say maybe it did. Maybe this is wrong. Unpopular food that's rich in minerals. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Did we run out of steam over here? We did, shoot. I wonder if we can build off of this O. Is delighted by the invitation. Um, I really want this to be would love to. That's way too long though. Hmm. I think it should be a T, so maybe this is a dragster. That's a kind of a general term. Okay. Thinks up. Is it imagines? No, that's too long. Uh, is it ideates? Uh, that would fit. I don't know about that. Spanish direccion. Hmm. Uh, is este a Spanish direction? I think it might be. I think that might be East. I'm not great with directions in Spanish. Is delighted by the invitation. Hmm. I don't know. 105 down EG, right. Rich in minerals. Hmm. Is it a bean of some kind? I bet it is. It's not a lima bean. Or a fava bean. What is this? Uh, I think coif has to be wrong. I don't think there's a food that fits in here. Hmm. 
Yeah, none that I can think of. Let's take that out. I think that's maybe hurting us. Father of Geometry. Yeah, couldn't that be Euclid? Nice, okay. Bit. Maybe that's a curl. Yeah. Uh, I still can't tell what should go here. Hmm. I wonder if something else is wrong. Maybe this is an O. What was this? Pipes up. Uh, hmm. So is this about speaking your mind? Interesting. Is delighted. Is it loves to? Okay, we got the proper tense there. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this one. Fast sounding freshwater fish. It seems like that should be a darter, right? Is this not a bean? Hmm. I wonder. Let's take that out. Uh. Oh my god, is it Rhoda? That's not what I was thinking of. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Okay, this looks like it has to be chive, right? So this is an I. Maybe it's a lime. There we go, we've got a lime and a chive. Nice, okay, finally, that was a very tough one. Hmm, I think we're going to need more help. I don't know if I can do this with just a B or an M on this one. Measures up to... It's not meets, is it? Like meets expectations? It could be, because this could be a beat, yeah. So what is this going to be, a melon maybe? Fit in. Oh yeah, it's going to be belong, nice. Alright, that one went a lot smoother. A-listers. Is that the elite? Claw, that could be a talon on a bird. Hagar the Horrible's Hound. That is Snurt. Yeah, he shows up in the puzzle every once in a while. Who is this Alan? Pinkerton, who founded the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Wow, I have not heard of him. Okay. Breel, breel, petite, blank. Children's song abroad. I have no idea what this means. Petite is small. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be at toll, right? What does that mean? I know I've seen that word before. It's not school. Hmm. I'm going to guess this is an E. Experience sharer. Shouldn't that be a mentor? And what do we have here? Source of big green eggs. I guess that's going to be an emu. So we're going to end on urgent. I grabbing email subject line. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's throw this U in there and see if that'll do it for us. Oh, crumbs. I guess that's appropriate on our food-based puzzle. We've got a square wrong. All right, let me see if I can track this down. Ah, okay, I found our mistake. We never double-checked this square here. This should be chimes in, right? I spelled Cleo's wrong. Yeah, it's C-L-I-O. Nice, okay, let's go ahead and throw this I in there and see if that will, in fact, do it for us. Oh, it didn't. Oh no, okay, we have another mistake. Let me see if I can track that one down. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 56 minutes. Yeah, that little mistake cost us about five minutes. So our wrong square ended up being here. Yeah, if you go back and look at the fast forwarding, you'll notice that this is the first spot that I went and looked at. This is the one that looked most suspicious to me because I realize now that Odessa is in Ukraine, right? That doesn't make sense for a Mesopotamian city. So it's Edessa instead. I don't think I've ever heard of that. And this is actives. Yeah, active ingredients, I suppose. Man, that's a tough cross. Yeah, I guess we would have uncovered that a lot earlier if I had spelled Cleos correctly. But let's talk about this theme. I was thinking about this a little bit after the solve. I really like these two kind of revealer phrases, Frankenfood and Bumper Crops. Bumper Crops kind of made the most sense to me right off the bat because it does seem like these are foods that are bumping off of each other. They kind of bump into each other where they share a letter and then ricochet away. 
but Frankenfood kind of took me a little bit longer to make sense of. I mean, obviously these are two foods that are being crossed, so they're kind of like a Frankenfood, but after thinking about it for a little while, it almost seems like they're trying to make these into food portmanteaus. Yeah, so if you mix olive and rice together, you could get rive or alice. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It gives you portmanteaus in both directions. One portmanteau starts with one food and the other starts with the other. So we have squat and osh for a mix of squash and oat. I think these two over here are probably the most successful portmanteaus. You've got a bango and a banana for a cross between a banana and a mango. I would definitely eat either a bango or a banana. Those both sound really good. I think these are pretty good too. Torn and tomato. <laughs> Those are both kind of funny. Live and chime. Yeah, I feel like the ones that make real words aren't as successful, kind of like with squat up here. Yeah, those aren't as funny as portmanteaus. Bellin is pretty good though. But yeah, overall, I think the revealers were kind of the highlight of this theme. It is kind of interesting how they're combining foods together, but they're just sort of crossing at one letter. So it feels like you could do this with an unlimited amount of foods, yeah. I mean, maybe some would make better portmanteaus than others, but some of these aren't that great either, like osh, yeah. I don't imagine anyone ever eating something called osh. <laughs> but yeah, as far as the rest of the fill goes, there was a couple of really good wordplay clues. I thought this was pretty clever. Wedding proposal for a toast. This was a nice hidden proper noun too, but my favorite wordplay clue of the puzzle has to be this one by far. What might prompt a run for Congress? Libido. That is delightfully spicy for the New York Times. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that bumper crop of a Sunday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.